Hi guys, this is Chris or Lilu, and this is how to connect to NinjaTrader 8 using the market data on and the plugin. There's two ways to connect to a Rhythmic Trader Pro. One with market data on and allow plugins, and one with market data off. If you plan on trading using Rhythmic Trader Pro and another platform like NinjaTrader 8, you don't have to buy a second session. You can simply use the plugin mode to connect to both platforms using data without any additional charge. But to do this, there's some additional steps. If you don't plan on using Rhythmic Trade Approach to trade and simply just to check your account balance and your uh, drawdown or your recent orders or order history, you don't have to have market data on. So be sure you check out the other video to log in that way. But for this one, we're going to be using the plugin. As you can see, I have the R Trader Pro here already. I'm using my Rhythmic user ID that I got from my welcome email. User ID, password, Chicago area, Rhythmic Paper Trading. Market data is on with plugin allowed. Um, everything is uh, correct here. So I'm going to hit log in. All right, once I log in here, all right, I'm going to go to Ninja Trader 8. All right, again, I'm going to refer to my welcome email. So here's me connected to Rhythmic Trader Pro with data. And you can tell it's with data because it has all four green lights on. Order, RMS, price, and history, meaning that you are using data and you can trade out of Rhythmic Trader Pro. Now to connect to Ninja Trader 8 with the plugin, you've got to go to Connections. You'll go to Configure. You'll add the Rhythmic for Ninja Trader Brokerage, which I already did here. And then once that's added, you can see where it says with plugin. I've renamed it. Okay, you can name it whatever you want. I just said, you know, Chris Lilu plugin. So you will add step one available, Rhythmic for Ninja Trade Brokerage. Once it's here, you can change the name. You can start it on startup if you like. Some people rather not connect on startup because it's a little slower. Um, but I like to start with startup. My username and password is going to be the same. That is my Rhythmic uh, on my welcome email. That is my Rhythmic user ID and password. That's what you're going to use to connect to Rhythmic Pro and to, to any other platform you're going to trade with for Lily. So in this case, Ninja Trader 8, I'm going to use the Rhythmic user ID and password. So once that's selected there, I'm going to go to Systems, because sure that's Rhythmic Paper Trading Chicago, and Plugin Mode, I'm going to be sure that is checked. Okay. So now. This is checked. I'm going to hit apply. Okay. I'm going to go to help. Go to license key. I'm going to get sure that my license key is correct. I'm using the free SIM key that Lily provides. You're welcome to use your own. But if you don't have one, you can use ours for free. And there's another video that will show you how to find that free license key. All right. Once I confirm that, I'm going to hit okay. Now I'm going to go to tools. Go to global simulation mode. That gives you there's not a check mark here. If there's a check mark like this, you have to uncheck by clicking it, and then that will remove that check mark. Okay. Now you're gonna have to close your Ninja Trader and your Rhythmic, and then reopen them. Rhythmic first, log into Rhythmic, and then Ninja Trader. All right. But I've already done that, so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect. So I'm gonna select Chris Lilu plugin. If you have multiple connections, get sure that you name your plugin one with plugin so you know which one to refer to. So now I'm going to hit connect. And now, as you can see, I am connected to both Ninja Trader 8 with data and also Rhythmic Pro with data. And I can trade out of both Rhythmic and Ninja at the same time using the plugin.